Hello, I'm Tian Norton. I'm a West Liberty student. This is my fourth semester there. Um, your turn. Um, I'm, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I'm Jake Persinger. I'm a junior at West Liberty University. I'm a student of the College of Business up there. I'm a, um, and I'm also an intern for our campus ministry. I focus in on all our programming aspects as well as different administrative tasks and stuff like that. My name is Chris Kingog. I'm a student at West Liberty University. I'm a, this is my fourth semester, but I'm a senior. I forgot to, I forgot to mention I'm an education major, and so that's fun. Okay. Okay. So we were, sorry about this. We were offered three questions, and the first one is, what can colleges or universities be doing to facilitate positive interactions between religion, spirituality, and intellectual growth? And um, we all brainstormed this, and we thought that the best way to kind of facilitate that would be to offer opportunities for the growth and to spiritually and to lead through the usual traditional avenues, such as Bible studies and you know, worship service and things like that, but also through some creative avenues, some out-of-the-box thinking for people who wouldn't necessarily want to fit into that church group or feel uncomfortable there to have a place that they could be welcomed into that. And then just meeting basic needs on campus. So this is what we thought would improve or what we could be doing. Jake is going to talk about things that we try to do to meet those ideas. Alrighty, so question number two says, what best practices in these areas can you share from your institution of higher learning? So like um, Tiana mentioned, we brainstormed last night and um, in the weeks prior, and we came up with basically four general topics that our events and such fall under. Those are um, internal growth for our ministry, community service, emotional and holistic health, and cost-saving services to students. So I'll go ahead and give you some examples from each one. So under our um, internal growth for campus ministry, um, first thing we have is our internship program. Like I mentioned, I'm an intern, and we also offer um, internships through our program for those who are discerning a call to ministry and um, those who want to get involved with, um, with the church and stuff as they grow older. Um, we also uh, have a weekly worship service as well as um, several Bible studies. And what we do with those is we offer leadership positions to students, whether it be a worship leader or a music leader, or um, I know Tion has led different Bible studies in the past. So um, that's basically what falls under growing our, basically our inner selves. Um, our second point, under community service, we, um, we, uh, we do um, food pantry service at local food pantries, as well as do um, different service projects, such as adopt a highway and um, different you know, local things, basically going to lend a local hand. We've done um, different, food drive, uh, different kind of food drives in the past too. Um, under our emotional holistic health, one of our uh, big points is um, this past year, it was our third annual suicide, excuse me, suicide uh, prevention and awareness walk, which we host on our campus, which um, just it kind of gives a time to uh, recognize the problem of um, suicide on rates among college students and, you know, like that. And um, so we basically get together just to kind of drive awareness. And we also, this year, we, um, Reverend Egg, we did a... Um, a seminar that accompanied the walk to kind of give everyone statistics and education on those sort of things. And um, also under emotional help, we, uh, one of our big things for our ministry is actually personal counseling, um, not only in uh, Pastor Deb's office, but most of the students that are always around our chapel, you know, there's constantly students coming in and looking for, you know, people to talk to and just, you know, to help solve their problems, whether it be anything from a class problem to something in their life that maybe help for a job search or stuff like that. So. Um, personal counseling is a big thing for us too. And then finally, a new program that we're starting under our emotional health is um, our Random Acts of Awesomeness. We actually just last week, we were writing, um, applied for grant money to help with this, which we're going to be going around campus and leaving different types of, um, you know, little encouraging notes or little gift cards and stuff like that to kind of not only help promote campus ministry, which Chris in a little bit is going to talk about some of the, um, those aspects, but to also, you know, bring awareness to, you know, uniting through Christ on our campus. And then finally, we have under our cost-saving services for students. One of the big things we do every uh, September, or I'm sorry, August, is we have an ice cream social to welcome in all the um, 
incoming freshmen, the university actually incorporates it as, as a part of their, um, their welcoming weekend. So we do that. We also, probably our largest program, other than our worship service, is every Wednesday we have a free lunch where um, students can come, faculty can come, they come in fellowship. We sometimes have a guest speaker. And um, finally, we have our own um, kind of our food reserve, food cupboard, in which, because college students really, they, you know, they have to juggle costs and, you know, higher education is just very expensive. So just to, we, we try to um, help them as much as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic off to Chris. All righty. So <clears throat> the question I have is, I got is, in what areas should your college or university uh, be working to strengthen the relationship of uh, religion uh, spirituality, spirituality in the academy, and we talked together uh, last night when, and we we came up with the, these uh, key points here. Uh, we came up with a, there needs to be more interaction with uh, other colleges or uh, Christian groups around. Like uh, this past weekend, some of us, a few of us, uh, went on a trip with WVU to a retreat in Green Bank, and. Uh, uh, the advantage to this here is with more interaction with others is you get to interact with other students, uh, other leaders, and you get to see kind of what they're doing and uh, get to know them a little bit better uh, there. Uh, another thing that we talked about uh, is uh, round tables uh, to discuss uh, different religions, uh, philosophies, uh, like workshops or symposium, symposiums uh, to help students grow in their understanding with uh, other religions, that's like maybe uh, uh, students of different nationalities meeting up to talk to each other there. Uh, another thing we talked about was uh, Christian groups uh, uh, on campus, uh, kind of like uh, Davidson Elkins talked about. We have the Christian groups on campus. We have uh, FCA, uh, our group naturally. Uh, we have Kappa Phi. Uh, we have a couple other groups that come in from off. What was that? If you don't have to okay, go ahead. We have several groups. We have like FCA, we have Kappa Phi, we have uh, Baptist Campus Ministries. There's 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 a college group that meets uh, that is I think another Methodist related one. And it's called the Upper Room. We have several Christian ministries. They just don't always come together and integrate very well. May I talk about Carry the Love real quick? Yeah. Okay, so one of the events that we did this year to try to unite them together a little bit is we did an event called Carry the Love. And there's this group called the Circuit Riders, and they go around to, this year they're going around to 200 college campuses across the U.S. and meeting, and they just have a night of worship and praise and prayer and just, just unity, just to kind of come together and worship Jesus. And um, one of the ideas behind that is that worship is one of those things that we have very deeply in common with uh, all Christian groups. So we come together for that night of worship as kind of like a catalyst to fuse us together. And then afterwards, we open up a panel to kind of talk about what we can be doing together as a campus, like a campus to spread the gospel, to reach out to people, to just you know, glorify his name. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Okay. I just wanted right. to finish that. Go ahead. Okay. So, as Tiana said, we have all, all these groups, but sometimes trying to getting them to come together uh, is uh, that's something that we are trying to work on. And uh, another thing uh, we have is uh, religion courses uh, uh, are more about uh, the content. Uh, they don't promote personal uh, expression or. Uh, critical thinking so that's one thing that we're that we need to work on mm -hmm.